In order to get what you want out of your life, you must become obsessed. You must become obsessed with only the things that you want. By doing so, you spend energy, time, and effort only on the desires that you're looking for. And you take less time and you spend less energy on the things that you do not desire. You have to get to the point where obsession for what you want is the only thing that you want. You have to make it and have the stamina once you get to where you're trying to go in order to maintain it. Many people say and claim that they want certain things, but they really don't have what it takes to maintain and keep and uphold the things that they desire. Therefore, they are not granted those things until they are ready. Many people will say that they're waiting on the Creator, but I will tell you this, the Creator is waiting on you. You have to complete each task with resilience, enthusiasm, and zeal. You have to make these things a priority in your life. You will have to execute and put everything that's important in front of the things that are not important. Execution should be the number one thing that you focus on in your life when talking about your goals, when talking about your dreams, when standing up for what you believe in, for going against the grain, for coming out of the box that you were put in, you are going to have to make those things a priority. You will have to execute when others are sleeping. You are going to have to execute while others are resting others are playing around you are going to have to put execution as a priority in your life you will have to work with others you will have to build teams some teams will be lifelong some teams will be short periods but you will have to utilize teammates in order to get to where you're trying to go in your life. If you really believe that you can get to where you wanna go, the dreams as big as you have, the goals as large as you have them, if you believe you can get there alone, that means, kings and queens, your dreams are too small. Marcus Taylor said, you must dream big, start small, act now. In order to get where you're going, you're going to have to dream big, start small, and act now. You must live out your fullest potential in your life. The biggest things that you've dreamed of, the wildest imaginations that you believe that you can accomplish, the things that you saw yourself, the times that you daydreamed, the times that you meditated, you have to believe those things are possible. But kings and queens, they're only possible if you put the work in. If you make these things a priority in your life. David Gardens talked about falling and getting back up. He mentioned that the thing he would want to be remembered by is not a person that won all the time, but a person that every time he fell, he got back up. You must adopt that same mindset. Adopt the mindset that no matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times you fall short and fail, how many times you do not accomplish what you set out to do, you still can get back up 
and you still can win as long as you do not quit. Do not give up, do not quit, do not stop. Continue to move forward accordingly for what you believe in. Go through, around, above, underneath everything that would stop you and that would speak against your goal, your dream, the life that you've been shown. The life that you've dreamed of and imagined that you desire. In order to do this, kings and queens, you must believe in yourself. You must believe that the creator himself has a piece of himself within yourself. You must believe that there's enough in you to accomplish and overcome everything that you may ever face in your life. There's nothing that's bigger than you than you will face. You must adopt the mindset of a lion. A lion is the king. Not because he is the fastest, strongest, or largest. It's because of his mindset. A lion believes when he walks into his territory, he is the greatest thing that walks in that arena. He believes that there's no one that can stand against him when he desires to be everything he's called to be. You must adopt that same mindset and have that same thought process of yourself. You must look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I am clutch. I am the difference maker. I am the game changer. I am the top of my class. I am a trendsetter. I am a leader in my own right, in the realm of my business, in the realm of my employment. I am who I am to be. You must have a routine that you do every single day. If you do not have a routine that you intend to follow, then you will inevitably follow a routine that causes you to fail. Your routine must be geared towards your success equation. The things that you know you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis in order to get a step closer to the goals that you have set in your life, to the dreams that you have dreamed in your life, to the things that you desire in your life. You must know who you are and whose you are. You must know deep down. You must reach down to the depths of your soul, to the depths of your being and figure out who you are and why you're here. And what were you sent here for? In order to do that, you must do some soul searching. You must do some reality checking. You will look in the mirror and see yourself and look at the life that you've lived thus far. And you will have to say to yourself, fully, truthfully, and honestly, I am the reason my life is the way it is thus far. If you do not like the life that you have, you are the reason, you are the problem. You are the issue. The issue is not someone else. The issue is you. But kings and queens, I'm here to tell you the great thing about confessing and looking at yourself and seeing that you are the issue, you can look at the same person and see that you are the solution. If you look inside of yourself and you really be honest with yourself, you can repair whatever it is you do not like, whatever it is you do not desire in your life you must know all the things that you want in every area of your life you must write down 
what it is you desire. When you write it down, you hold yourself accountable for what you wrote down. When people just talk and they just say certain things, there's no accountability. Why? Because there's no real record of what one has said that they are going to do, what they desire, and what they want. But in order to hold yourself accountable, write it down, put a date by it, follow up, and look at what you may need to change in order to get to where you're trying to go. You must own yourself. You must own the responsibilities that you have for yourself, for your loved ones, for your children, for those that depend on you. You must not waste time in doing so. You must utilize every minute of the day that you have, that you've been given in order to accomplish your goals and dreams. No one's gonna do it for you. No one's gonna just show up and just with a dump truck and just dump off all the things you desire. No, it doesn't work that way. You are gonna have to make it a priority. Do not waste time. By doing so, you will not be average. You will be one of those ones that stand for what's right. You will be one of those ones that accomplish the things that they set out to do. You will be one of those ones that really makes a change in their life because you will not waste time. You will focus on what's important you will prioritize and write down the things that you want in your life and you will dream big and focus on your why your why is why you're here no one can tell you your why you have to find out your why you must have heart in doing so you must give it everything you have put it all on the line Kings and queens, if this is what you desire, if the life you live, if the things you want, the things you're looking for, the dreams, the people you want to help, the people you want to see do better, if those things are more important than the things you've done thus far, from oversleeping to procrastinating to making excuses, then you will have to become obsessed with everything that you want.